Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Doom Eternal. My name is Camel, and today I'm bringing you a full 100% completion guide to the seventh mission, known as Mars Core. I'll show you where to get all of the goods, all of the secrets, all of the collectibles, all of the exploration-based things, all of the combat-based things, and some extra stuff along the way. Now, if Doom Eternal content interests you, be sure to check out my other videos that I've already done. They can be found via the playlist down in the description, where you can also find my social media links. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram after this video. And if you're looking for something specific throughout the mission that you've missed, timestamps can also be found down in the description along with the comments. For now though, let's get into the Mars Core. First up, we're going to take a look at the mission challenges. The first one, we have to kill 40 demons with a very big gun, aka the BFG, which we'll pick up during this mission. The second one, we have to destroy three arm cannon weak points on the Mancubi. This is really easy to do. And the last one, lock and key, find the Slayer key, which we'll get throughout this uh, this guide. With the BFG one, you just want to shoot any big group of enemies with the BFG. There's a fair bit of ammo throughout the level, and you'll be able to do this easy. The Mancubus one, there's only a few Mancubus throughout the level, but taking out their arm cannons is super easy, but that's going to be on you. Of course, doing all three of these will get three Praetor suit points and a Sentinel battery, so be sure to keep these in mind throughout the mission. Now right near the start of the mission, we'll come out of this room here and before exiting to the surface, we'll find a rune right here. It's very hard to miss. Of course, activate this to unlock a rune for your Slayer. On the map, this rune is found right where the Slayer is standing. Now once we do come out to the surface, over here we want to jump onto this and onto this thing here and we'll see there is an extra life floating above a huge drop, so be careful not to fall to your death. On the map, this extra life is found right where the Slayer is standing or where the extra life icon is in front of him. Once we complete the next battle arena area, we need to drop down this tube into this under area where we will be able to turn around and continue on with the mission. But if we go the other direction, we'll find the Sentinel battery over near this air vent. Now on the map, this Sentinel battery is found right where the battery icon is. Of course, grab this. Now once we enter this kind of engine room of the BFG 10,000, if we come over to the back, there is the auto map station. Activating this will reveal the rest of the map to us and not just the bits we've explored. Of course, on the map, the auto map station is located where the auto map station icon is. Now from here, we need to get up to the top and to the right. Now we can jump into these pistons and then jump on top of the opposite pistons once the one we're inside raises up. Once we do that, we'll be able to jump onto this platform over to the right or the left, I guess it depends on which way you're facing. But up here, there is a sentinel knight holding a praetor suit point. Be sure to grab that. On the map, in case you can't find this, it is found right where the Praetor suit point coin icon is located, which is the same place as the Slayer. Next, we're gonna jump over uh, to this area where we continue on with the mission, but we need to turn to the left where we can find a codex entry. This is the codex entry for the BFG 10,000. Of course, it comes with this lovely picture and there is a bunch of lore on the BFG 10,000. On the map, this codex entry is found right here where the codex entry icon is. Next, we will get the BFG as part of the mission, but this area that we come out in to is a perfect place to get a whole bunch of demons to go towards that the the mission challenge where you have to kill 40 demons with the BFG. Also in the middle of this area there is BFG ammo. This is so noteworthy that it has its own map marker which can be found right where I'm standing. Next we'll be in this area in the shattered abyss where we can meat hook our way into the building. Once we take care of the enemies we want to head back to the window where we entered the building and then walk around through this hallway and to the left where we can find an extra life. Be sure to grab that. On the map, this extra life is found right where the extra life icon is. Later on, we'll come out into this arena here. Now there is a buff totem. It is found over behind this wall underneath the teleporter. We need to destroy it as quickly as possible. Of course, when we destroy it, the demons will no longer be buffed. On the map, this totem is found right here. Again, you need to destroy, we don't need to, but you should destroy this immediately. Once we're done with that battle arena, we can drop down into this hole, where we can actually find a cracked wall over to the left. We wanna punch through this and drop down to the right into this hallway. At the end of the stairs, we will find a Praetor suit point being held by a Sentinel Knight. Grab this, of course. On the map, this is found right where the Slayer is currently located. Now from here, turn to the right where we'll find health, some ammo, and 50 armor. Then turn around 180 degrees and we will find the first secret encounter Gornest of the level. Activate this to begin the encounter. This one isn't too hard, but it's also not too easy. We'll get a few different demons. I don't know, use the ballista, use the rocket launcher, use your grenades. Basically just pump the demons as quickly as possible. Same with any of the secret encounters really. 
you just want to deal with them ASAP. I didn't have too much trouble with this, and it also wasn't a breeze. Later on, when we enter this office room, we want to turn to the right and head down this hallway where we'll find a secret. This is the collectible toy for the Prowler. I've been wondering where this was. I've been prowling around looking for it for ages. Anyway, on the map, it's found where the toy icon is. A little later into the mission, we'll go through this door where there is the second rune of the level. We need to activate this to unlock a rune for our Slayer. This will be the final rune in the campaign, and you should have every rune unlocked now. You've done so well, you deserve a rune ward. Oof. That hurt me more than it hurt you. On the map, this rune is found here where the icon is, and it's pretty much impossible to miss as we have to run past it for the mission. Now, after being shot through the cannon, we'll be in this building where we want to come through this burnt hole in the wall, turn to the right through this burnt hole in the wall, and we will find a secret above this hole in the floor. Now, this is the collectible cheat code for Onslaught. On the map, this is found where the floppy disk icon is. From here, we're gonna want to run back through this hallway and then over to this little room here where there is a vent with a green light. We need to jump up into this and jump up into here. Then on this platform, we can find a Praetor suit point being held by a Sentinel Knight. Be sure to grab that, of course. On the map, this is found right where the Slayer is currently located. Now from here, we need to jump and double dash across onto these monkey swing bars and then turn around. We then need to jump again, use the swing bars, but get to that extra higher level in the air vent where there is a secret. Now here we can find the collectible music vinyl album for Doom 64, which is the intro song. On the map, this is where the collectible vinyl icon is. Now from here, if we jump back out of that vent and use the two monkey bars to swing, we'll see there is actually a cracked wall there. We can jump and smash through it. This will reveal a secret area where we can find an extra life. And we can actually come back to this area later on once we loop, loop past some other area, but you don't have to come here right now, but you can. Anyway, on the map, this is found right here where the extra life icon is found. Now, a little bit further into the mission, we'll be down here. Instead of turning to the right for the mission, we want to go to the left and into this area where at the back of the room, we can see there is a cracked grate. Punch through this. Now, there is a teleporter in the floor. Jump into this and we'll be taken up to this platform here, where we'll find the second secret encounter Gornest of the mission. On the map, this is found right where the Slayer is standing. Now activate this to start the encounter. Again, like the other one, the first one of this mission, it wasn't easy and it wasn't hard. There's just a variety of demons, none of them pose a particular challenge. Just get the blister, the rocket launcher, the grenades, ice bomb if you have to. Just pump everything as quickly as possible. In fact, if anything, I found the imps more annoying because it was harder to concentrate on the bigger demons. But again, it was mediocre, wasn't difficult, wasn't easy. Once that's done, we need to jump onto this launch pad here, which will take us up into this platform here where we want to run forward, of course. Now, keep going forward, and at the back to the right, there is a secret. This is the collectible toy for the carcass. Now, the carcass collectible toy is found where the Slayer is currently standing. Now, from here, we can go through this vent here, jump up into this vent, and this will drop us back down into the room where we got the extra life earlier. Be sure to grab the ammo if you need that. Then we can drop back down and continue on with the mission. Once we get to this floating island here, we want to jump onto this little raised area and then turn around and jump onto this platform where we can find 50 armor. It's not a secret, but it's very easily missed. On the map, this 50 armor is found right where the Slayer is currently located. From here, we're going to dash, a lot of dash, there's many dashes across to this area and this is a good place to use the BFG just to clear out a bunch of enemies and get some kill counts towards that mission challenge. Once we are done with this area, above the door we need to go through for the mission, there is some BFG ammo, be sure to grab this, it's super valuable. On the map, this is found right where the BFG ammo icon is. Now, once we come out into this huge shattered space area, we need to come onto this launch pad, which will send us flying onto this island. We need to turn to the right and jump on top of this kind of satellite dish where we can find an extra life. On the map, this extra life is found right here. The only way to get here is the way I just showed you. From here, we want to jump over onto this island where we can find 50 armor. It's definitely worth picking up. Now on the map, this 50 armor is found right on this island, and from here we can then jump onto this bigger island in the middle, where we can continue on with our Holy Crusade. Now from the top of this bigger island we just got to, we need to jump onto this little island, and then jump up onto the top of this rock where the health is, turn to our left, and jump on top of this one, where there is a Sentinel Knight holding a Praetor suit point. Be sure to grab this. It's very easy to miss this. On the map, this is found right where the Praetor suit point is located. From here, we can jump down onto this platform where on the top we can find the same thing as on my top lip, ammo, for the BFG. Now on the map, this is found right 
where the ammo icon is. Now on the lower area of this island, we're gonna jump through into the middle climb wall, then turn to the left onto this climb wall, turn to the right where we can see an extra life. We need to be careful and grab that, then turn to the right and grab onto this climb wall, not falling to our death. Now this extra life is found right behind the Slayer as we can see on the map. Now we're gonna jump onto this launch pad which will send us flying back to the base, which will land us in front of this door. We wanna go in here and at the back of the room, there is a Sentinel Crystal. Activate this to increase your health, armor, or ammunition, and possibly unlock a perk if you're at that stage of unlocking stuff. Now on the map, this Sentinel Crystal is found right where the Slayer is currently located. Now instead of heading on with the mission, we wanna go back the way we came, but a bit different way. We wanna come over here, jump onto this island where there is a swing bar, swing off that onto this island, and then we can get to an upper level of the bigger island we came from that we couldn't get to before. Up here there's some armor, ammunition, and of course a sentinel battery. Grab the battery. On the map, the battery's found right here. Again, the only way to get here is to go forward then back, as I just showed you. Then we can go back onto the launch pad, back to the base, and continue on with the mission by going through this green door. Now this room is filled with tentacles. Clear out this whole room of the tentacles and all the enemies and I'll see you on the other side of the fight. So once all this stuff has been cleared out, we wanna enter this room, turn to the left, sweep around to the right, and on this control terminal, we can find a yellow button. Push the yellow button. This will push back the wall in the next room and also raise up a little platform in the middle. We wanna jump onto this, and then from here, we can jump up to this grate, which is cracked, punch through this, and we can find the secret, which is a collectible vinyl album for Quake Champions, Goroth. Now on the map, this collectible vinyl is found right where the vinyl icon is. From here, we wanna turn around and jump across to the other grate, which is also cracked, punch through this, enter this red room, and turn to the right, where at the end, we will find the Slayer Key. Of course, grab this. Now on the map, this is found right where the Slayer Key icon is found, and of course we had a mission challenge to get a Slayer Key, which we will have now completed. Grabbing all this stuff is key, and we're slaying it. From here, jump out of this vent, turn to the left, and around through this hallway we can find the Slayer Gate. Of course on the map, the Slayer Gate's located where the big purple circle is. Of course we need to use the Slayer Key to open the Slayer Gate. Once we are inside, we need to activate the Golden Gore Nest, which will teleport us to the Slayer Gate. Once that Slayer Gate is complete, we'll be teleported back, the Golden Gore Nest will explode, and this will reveal an Empyrean Key. Of course, we need to grab the Empyrean Key, as it is one of six in the campaign that we need to unlock the Unmaker. And of course, on the map, the Empyrean Key is found exactly where the Golden Gore Nest was found, in the Slayer Gate. Now, a little bit further into the complex, we will enter this room where we have to drop through this hole in the floor. Once we get down here, turn to the left, punch through this cracked grate, enter this room where we can find some rockets and some health, grab those if you need, jump onto this jump pad, uh, kill these enemies, they're super easy. And then, at the back of the room, there is a secret. Now this secret is the collectible toy for the pinky. On the map, this pinky toy can be found right here. Personally, I prefer index fingers, but if you're into pinkies, this is for you. Now the next thing we do is jump in the shuttle and go to the core of Mars. And what's inside Mars, you're wondering? Well, gooey, delicious chocolate and caramel. Is that the wrong Mars? I don't know. So once we get to the center of the planet, we will find ourselves here. Now there is a sentinel battery that I missed, but we'll come and grab that in a second. Now when we come down these stairs, there is a codex entry right here. We need to grab that. This is the codex entry for the lost city of Hebeth. This of course will give us a lovely picture and a bunch of lore on the lost city of Hebeth. From this codex entry, we can run into this room where over, right over in the left, we can find a sentinel knight holding a Praetor suit point. Be sure to grab that coin, especially in these tough times, grab all the coins you can. On the map, this Praetor suit point is found right where the Slayer's standing. Now from here, we want to go back to where we came from. As I said, there's a sentinel battery right there that I missed. Luckily, I remembered it was here before entering the next arena. Anyway, you can grab this as soon as you drop down from the shuttle. Now on the map, this sentinel battery is found right where the Slayer's standing, again, right next to where you drop down from the shuttle. Then, now that we have that, we can punch through this wall and enter the final battle arena. Once that battle is done, we want to come over to this launch pad, jump up, then come over to this monkey bar, swing off it, where we can jump and find this extra life. 
On the map, that extra life is found right where the extra life icon is floating in the middle of that battle arena we just completed. Now from here, when we walk through the gates, we will find some BFG ammunition. Of course, grab this, it's very rare. And then all we need to do is exit the level through the portal. And guess what? We've completed the mission, Mission 7 Mars Core. If you did all the combat encounters, you did the uh, Slayer Gate and the two secret encounter gore nests, you will have completed all of the combat aspects of the mission, giving you all 10 weapon points for the mission. The three challenges, killing 40 demons with a BFG, that's up to you, but easy to do. Destroying three arm cannons, weak points on Mancubi, again, that's up to you, but it's very easy. And getting the Slayer Key, you would have done that if you followed this guide. And then of course to the exploration aspect we will have found and collected all 20 of the items on the mission. The one sentinel crystal, the five Praetor suit points, the two codex entries, the three sentinel batteries, the two runes, the one Empyrean key, the three toys, the two albums, and the one cheat code. So there you have it. Congratulations, you have completed Mission 7 Mars Core. The next thing for us is Mission 8, which is where I will see you next. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been my full walkthrough guide for Doom Eternal's Mission 7, Mars Core. I do hope this video helped you out, and if it did, you'll be very interested in checking out my other Doom Eternal videos that I've already done. Links to them can be found down in the description. Now down there in the old description, you can also find all of my social media links. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And if you would like to support the channel in a more personal way, you can become a heroic patron on Patreon or a sponsor of the channel right here on YouTube. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos that I create for you to enjoy. So you're support is most genuinely appreciated and welcomed in any and all forms. Leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. So thank you very much for watching, thank you very much for supporting my channel, it means the world, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon. Until then, rip and tear. Until it is done.